Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us on Exposure. We talk with Desmond Ballantyne, Ninja Man. I'm going to go straight to the phone calls because this is the final segment. Good afternoon, caller. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome, ma'am. I must commend um, Ninja Man on his, on his deed. I really like what he did. Ninja Man, I'm very proud of you, and I hope that you are, in fact, making a change. And I don't think the interrogation is also necessary today because it is, in fact, something positive, and we need this kind of change in this country. Thanks very much, ma'am. Bye-bye. Welcome, caller. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Yes, welcome. Hello. Yes, go right ahead hearing you, ma'am. Hi, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. I want to also compliment Ninja Man. I first heard about this gentleman um, in the DJ circles. I've always known her, him to be very popular. I didn't understand why. Um, because I associated, you know, you have a frame, mind frame about certain various persons, and I just associated him with certain yes. categories. I've heard him, I've seen him perform on the television, and that's the first time I was impressed about him. And he's very entertaining without a hit song. You know, what is going on now with him? I remember when he became a Christian, and I am disappointed in the public with how they treated him. With his background, I don't know too much of his background. I'm assuming things here, so maybe he can clarify things to me. He sounds like a very intelligent person. I don't know what kind of education he had, but he's, he sounds very intelligent. And I respect him for, the, for his effort in trying to do good. And I would hope that the people of Jamaica don't molest him and push him the wrong way because he's trying. And he's coming from background where he has seen and, and associated with certain things. And he wants to move away from that. And it is very trying. It is trying to be a Christian alone, yes. much less to be with his background. Thanks. I would want them to just give him a chance and allow I'm not talking just police officers, I'm talking people in general. Yes. Right? Th thanks so very much. Thank you. Have another yes. call online. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, go right ahead, please. Yeah, but I'd like to comment in German on what it is still on. But I say I say better authority you know, in the future still. Go on all the faith in German. Don't make them stress you. Bless you. Thanks. Thanks very Great much. Sir. Th thank you. Caller, welcome. Hello. Hello, caller. Yes, good morning. Yes, good afternoon. Go right ahead, please. Right. Um, just want to wish Ninja Man the best. And um, regardless of whatever is happening, I want him to hold the faith and know that it's something good. Yes. Bless yes, you. Th th thanks very much. Ninja Man, you, you've heard four callers back to back commending you. This is the kind of reaction that you had hoped for. You were hoping that people would use it as a positive move to make society a better place. Yeah, man, because I'm going to share something. We are the road modeling now. We don't see, we set the trend. Because I tell you before, I'm the one who started. So I am the one who's supposed to finish it. You understand? Mm -hmm. And this is, this is what we really want to see from the youth, them. And as I tell you, I was watching the kids' program before I come on the TV. And I hear all the little kids, and when they get an interview, what they would like for Jamaica. Them all saying they need peace. Mm -hmm. My feelings, I would like to see 2003. Nobody died of gunshot. If even somebody died of gunshot already, we could just bike on it. Even so, we're not ready to put up, put in no gun. Mm -hmm. Just so, we're not use them, none at all, 2003. Police, soldiers, and nobody cares. I have to tell you one thing. I've, the first time since Mr. Adams come into Kingston and run, get, get the, 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 the permission to run the whole corporate, the whole country. Yes. It's the first I ever hear the hundred man team have stepped out and receive a gun and carrying in that man alive. And we must say, give three cheers to Mr. Adams. They're bringing one man into Portland Station now with a shotgun, without no gunshot, and he will be arrested, supposed to face the judge. This is the type of system we want to see. Can we expect to hear a difference in the lyrics of Ninja Man for 2003 and here from Yeah, here. that's why we even start from saying this. Why don't we surrender our guns? Those guns, there's no sense in killing anyone. The people are dying, the children are crying. Blood is all over the land. So and we go back and we look to the election and yes. we say, Election is coming. The fear is now sounding. Corruptions the highest we've seen. Politicians campaigning, the shatters negotiating, and the arms are flowing easily. The go-go shops growing, the ghetto expanding, and guns all over our street. 
Some thinking of running, but the visa's not coming, and the poor left to suffer and weep. We not only debating on Jamaica alone for put on the gun them. Mm -hmm. Now, the Americans, the Canadians, we leave and we go way back into the Middle East. And we say, the Palestine fighting, the Israelites bombing, chaos in the Middle East. The Americans shouting for the aid of Bin Laden and the Al Qaeda's under retreat. They say Saddam complaining, the Muslim keep praying, and God knows where will this end. This is the problem, Lord help us solve them. It's all resting you and so why don't we surrender our guns? Yes, and, and the rest. Since you have handed over the gun, have you had any of your bad man brethren said this is a great move ninja and i'm gonna do just that right after just well, hold, hold on for me let me come back to you we have the police commissioner online good afternoon mr forbes good afternoon to you all welcome sir good to have you yes i want to make two quick points um, my very first point is that i too wish to commend ninja man for being brave enough to hand over a gun. We don't know yet where he got the gun or whether or not he was involved in crime. And um, certainly those things are going to be investigated. But he must be commended, and I hope that others who see him as their role models take a cue from him and help us to get some of the illegal guns off the street. Um, but I want to address the interview with Mr. Adams and, and um, Ninja Man a little earlier, um, with reference being made to a speech I, 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 I was quoted from. Um, sometimes things happen above the levels of the main players. And uh, so whereas Ninja Man may truthfully be saying he never spoke with Adams before, and whereas Mr. Adams is saying quite truthfully that Ninja Man never spoke to him, that does not mean it was never discussed prior to. Discussed with whom? Well, I, I was advised by an officer much senior to Mr. Adams that he was called by a player, not Ninja Man, to discuss the possibilities of this handover um, taking place. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the plot at the time was that Ninja Man would have handed over the gun prior to um, going into his performance and that what he would carry on stage would be an imitation firearm, a toy gun, and he would do the public handing over of the toy gun. Obviously, somebody flipped the, the, the play, and the real gun, which, you know, was, was wrong, um, it, could have, it could have backfired, it could have been discharged, persons could have gotten hurt, you know, and we would not have agree to something like that happening if that was what had been discussed but it was discussed by uh, but ha had that been the case mr commissioner then um ninja man must have known about it so why is he now saying that he knew nothing of well, any kind of plan at all i don't know the discussion that preceded the the show um whether or not the persons who managed him or the persons who are associated with it um discussed it with him to the extent that they were going to discuss it with a senior police officer mm -hmm. but i am telling you that the report to me by that very senior officer yes. was that prior to uh he was asked if that could be done and in fact he did upon receiving that inquiry communicated with another senior officer to see yes. if he agreed if it was going to be something you know that was legal May I ask you, just, just hold on a second for me, please, Mr. Yeah. Commissioner. Ninja Man, could you just clarify for me? That bag, that is um, in the lady's hand. Exactly who is the lady and why is the lady bringing the bag there? I'm a money that I'm a collect for Steve. No, no, it's not the money. It's not the money. That exactly is, a, that is something looking like a gun. You can't stay here and look on a bag and tell me, say, you see something like a gun. D That's just, how some no, people no, go no, to prison, on. innocent. Just hold on. Look at it. Why would you be collecting the money from Sting ah, on a stage to me. in come, front no. of thousands of people? She just have a look at when it, When I Mr. turned off the stage and I went to the backstage, yes. like my money just said, done the place, because we collect look, the just money. Have look, just have a look, please. Mr. Valentine, let's just see um, exactly what's going on. If that's your money, then it, I don't know money to be so black. No, and, um, you don't see nothing there, so you know. You don't? No. I have 20 20 vision. You? What, what's yours? Yeah, I, mean, I have 90 90. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I. Anyway. 
we're, 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 al we're almost out of time. I just want you to clarify why, why something for me. Why, no. Just clarify for me, Mr. Ballantyne. We're almost out of time. Mm. The lady who was there, you're saying she was handing over money to you and not the weapon that you handed over, and well, therefore no, it wasn't staged. You don't need to know all of that. You just need to know the weapon handing over. The commissioner appreciated it. The leader for crime appreciated it. The prime minister appreciated it. Why can't the country appreciate it? I tell you already, you know, I tried to do the good already. The first time the I reached him to do good, you know, pressure me and me have to run out back. You know, so if it wasn't for Uno, you know, see him, him condemnation. Jamaica would be a religious nation from 1997 now. I would have lead the people straight to yes. God you now. And I start on the road of making a, that decision that you're supposed to see God and know God and receive God. Yes. And you know, you know, take me back out of the church till me man in a pile of bone God and bone Jesus now and I'm not praise them and I praise them with the fire the, the, and the, take God out of them and give them the devil and you know, still after mm -hmm. me I come and make a different headway now you when know, still I try to stop it let, let, me, but let me tell you this. Desk, I am only hold, hold, on. hold on I am only an individual in this country yes and the responsibility of this country is not mine alone so if I am trying to make a difference and you people don't decide to help me Oh God, I can ask God to take me home by. I see you later. Did you not understand that when you became a Christian, the devil is going to be so strong than when you were out there in the world? If I had no God then, like I knew now, no now no couldn't get me out. But you know that's why I'm telling us now. Me hand over my gun now. Hold on. And I tell the world, say, I'm living a new life and I'm going back to the righteous way of salvation. Yes. Ho hold on for me, Mr. Ballantyne. Mr. Commissioner? Yes, ma'am. The the plan that was in place, yes. the senior police officer who told you, yes. was there a decision, therefore, to give Ninja Man safe passage with the gun to go in sting? How no, exactly no, was he supposed that, to take it that, in? That, that was not a discussion. The discussion was that Ninja Man would take a toy gun. Uh, but prior to the event, the, uh, a real firearm yes. um, that he was taking with him would be handed over. Um, that was the plan. Not that he would take a real firearm onto the stage of Sting. Yes, yes. Is there, Mr. Commissioner, uh, an amnesty at this point in time, a gun amnesty? No, as I explained recently, there is no amnesty as such, as such. But officers do have a discretion, and they have been advised to exercise that discretion. Yes. Um, if a citizen wants to hand over a firearm, we will accept it. In fact, we even have a program where um, huge rewards are given to persons who give information le leading to the recovery of firearms and illegal ammunition also. Mm -hmm. So we are encouraging it. Um, there is a process that says if a firearm is received that we have to take it through the forensic science um, testing, examination, to see if it, was, it, is, if it is linked with any um, crimes. Mm -hmm. And if it is linked, then we have further investigations to carry out. But if it is not linked, then we say thanks and we move on. Yes, and the position now is that you're having tests run on the gun that Ninja Man handed in. And if there is evidence that something may have been done at some point in time, then he'll be brought in for questioning. Whoever it can be linked to will certainly be brought in for questioning. At this point in time, we don't know exactly if the gun is Ninja Man's or he got it from somewhere else, no, do we? I think that, that would, if it was linked to crimes, um, that the investigations would have to seek to find that out too. Yeah. I mean, we can't hear, for example, that the gun was used in the, you know, murder of one or two persons and just say thanks for that and, and move on. Yes. Uh, we have to find a way to clear up the cases. But we're almost out of time. I asked Mr. Adams this question. Don't you think it... Um, when you said that a particular policeman did very well with the microphone as well, do you not set Mr. Adams up to have been a part of this plane on stage? And no, no, if no, 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 no. Yes. That, that, that was said in jest. If you, if you saw, I was laughing when yes. I spoke about him, you know, obviously having time to rehearse and all that because right. he sounded good. Right. Um, all of that was in jest, you know, based on, on where we were and how, we were, you know, how the discussion was progressing. Mm -hmm. I think the serious part that we must bear in mind and, you know, not try to develop a controversy is that, um, you know, a gun was handed over. But the manner in which it was handed over is not something that we are going to be encouraging. Um, we yes. do not want to make a public spectacle. And um, even the way Ninja Man called the policeman, the first policeman yes. on stage, you know, come here police. I mean, that is, that is disrespectful. So, you know, there must be a better way to do that in the future.
May I thank you for your clarification, superintendent, um, com police commissioner, rather, You're Francis, welcome. Mr. Forbes. Thanks so much, Ninja Man. You're asking the, the public to come out and support you in what you have done. We've had four callers to this program and everybody commending you. What from here? What we really need from here, we need for real is to the government take it serious and start handing out amnesty. Because I can tell them this. I can tell the commissioner, I can tell the judge. From my experience, prisoners have no chance of changing a man from being a criminal. Sending him to the prison only make him be a better criminal when he come out here. And be a more illiterate and a dark person who comes out of the prison, go in there as a human and come out as a barbarian and a cannibal. You go into the prison, you learn to kill and destroy more than when you're on the street. So let's change and build a better country.